Curry chicken salad is perfect for any picnic or when you are wanting to use up leftover chicken to make something simple yet delicious. Perfect amount of crunch, sauciness, and tang. This is something you can put in a lettuce wrap, on a roll, or eat it by the spoonful. And I'm going to show you how to make it today on the Stay at Home Chef. For this recipe, we are using 16 to 20 ounces of cooked chicken. Whether you use leftover rotisserie, grilled, pressure cooked, or baked chicken, make sure to cube it up into about a half inch cubes. Add the cubed chicken into a large bowl along with two ribs of celery that are chopped into small pieces. One tart apple of your choice, a Granny Smith or Pink Lady works perfect for this recipe. Leave the skin on and cut it up into one fourth of an inch cubes. Then chop up about a fourth of a cup of green onions, which is about half of a bunch. Add those to the bowl alongside the chicken and a fourth a cup of golden raisins. I know some people are going to turn their nose up to that ingredient, but it works so well and adds that sweet factor in to make this the most perfect curry chicken salad. The next ingredient is a fourth a cup of slivered almonds that we're going to toast over on the stove. Put them in a skillet over medium heat. Stir them around as they brown up. You can also do this in the oven on a baking sheet. Just watch it closely because they brown quickly. The flavors when you toast almonds are enhanced and they stay crunchier. It's definitely worth the extra time to do this step. They take about three to four minutes to brown up, but once you're done, remove them from the heat and let them cool. Now in a separate bowl, we need to make our sauce. To that bowl, we're going to add in one and a half cups of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of curry powder. This is a mild yellow curry powder. Two teaspoons of lemon juice, which is about as much as you can get from half of a small lemon. A half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Stir that until it's well combined. If you wanted to use Greek yogurt instead of that mayonnaise, go for it. It's a great healthy alternative. Pour that sauce mixture over those chopped ingredients, add in those cooled almonds, and toss to combine. Let this chill covered in the fridge for a few hours. Those flavors will really deepen into the chicken and it gets even more delicious. This salad is one of my family's favorites. We love to take it camping or on outings. When it's sealed up, you can store it in the fridge for up to four days. Serve it in a lettuce wrap, on a tortilla, or with a spoon, and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.